experience which I learned from our patient with uh, some of our patients who are doing outside monitor. So what that means is that we have many patients, they are going through infertility treatment in another city, and when they're ready, they will come to our clinic for egg retrieval or future embryo transfer. And they go through most of the treatment and the monitor in their own city. And this is called outside monitor patient. In a larger scale, it has become the modern trends that in any specialty of medicine, a very common word called cross-board medicine, tourist medicine, distant medicine, distant monitor medicine. All this really means that the patient could be in a different city of, of the clinic and going through the telecommunication system such as Skype and uh, Facebook and or just go through simple telephone or FaceTime. The doctor, the physician, physician and the patients can really start into communication and get to know each other and any necessary test can be performed locally. And when the patient needs an actual medical procedure, they finally come to the clinic. So I want to share some experience and, uh, with our new patients who are newly become our outside monitor patient that I find it's very useful. So first of all, we have to know about the time zone and always should know that what's the time difference between your city and New York City and to make sure we always do the converting to know the time so we can have a time of the communication and not too early, not too late for the physician's office and also for the patient. And the secondly, very important information is that always try to get the information by yourself as much as you can rather, rather than rely on the third party to send your report to us. For example, and if you finish your ultrasound scanning and your blood work in your local clinic, it will be so much easier if you can obtain the information and you send it to us directly. Instead, we rely on the nurse to send it to us. Then very soon, sometime when you are waiting for us to make a decision, but we haven't really received your uh, monitor information. By the way, generally speaking, we would like to have your information before 3 p.m. New York time. Then we can have enough time to review the results and get back to you about what you need to do next step. A common communication means including email. We have a secure email system. Will not breach your personal medical information. We can go through text message through your cell phone. We also can do Skype chat or other fashion way faxing, fax the results or even just the simply phone calls. And usually we recommend not to do the direct phone calls because of the time difference and the phone and also the availability of the both parties. So we prefer to use uh, other kind of a social media approach. Thirdly, I find it's very important that to get an accurate ultrasound report. And usually it takes a long time from the time the ultrasound report come out and going through the formal reporting system and received by us. So I recommend every time when you go to ultrasound scanning locally, you can use your own iPhone to take the image on the ultrasound scanning and then you can text us your image. Then we can look at the re scanning results, make a decision right away. Sometimes this is actually better than look at the doctor's report, but the doctor can give a very different kind of a report. Number two, about the medications. We always try to avoid to at the very last minutes when you need some medicine and you don't have that medicine versus you got too much medicine when you don't need it and you feel like you uh, waste uh, your resource to purchase medicine. So this is a very fun balance to make sure you have certain medicine but not have too much or don't have the medicine unnecessary. So that's why we need to communicate with the nurse very carefully all the time to make sure you always have me a medicine. If you feel like you run out of medicine and speak out early, so we can arrange the medicine rather than, so in this way we can avoid last minute looking for the medicine. 
particularly the trigger medicine, the medicine used to trigger ovulation. And usually it's only used once each cycle, and usually you can take it in the late evening. So it's very easy to be forget, forgotten and missed. And by the time you need it, you absolutely know this medicine that can cause unnecessary stress. Regarding the protocols, usually we give the patient very clear protocols before any procedure started, and we would like to make sure you know the protocols and make sure you set up with one of the local clinic who can do the blood work and the ultrasound and make sure you can send all the results to us before 3 p.m. In this case, the case can be worked out very well and 15% of our patient population actually from outside of New York City. Thank you.